Warm welcome, you're watching Mission 2024. I'm Preeti Chaudhary. We come to you from Battleground Amity and what a contest it's become, viewers, because till now, you've got uh, less now, less than 24 hours to go. And the Congress still doesn't have a candidate. We are at the Amethi Congress headquarters. You have the cadre there that has been sitting all day hoping that finally Rahul Gandhi's name will be announced. Will he? Won't he? And what of Rai Bareilly? We are going to put the focus on that in this uh, special edition of Mission 2024. These are the headlines. Congress all set to end the Amethi suspense today, under 24 hours to go for nomination deadline. Will Rahul Gandhi fight Amethi after Wayanad? Bridge Bhushan Sharan dropped but his son fielded from the Uttar Pradesh seat of Kaiser Ganj by BJP. Dinesh Pratap Singh fielded from Rai Bareilly, all eyes on Congress contender. News Titans around sex abuse accused Prajwal Revanna look out notice against the suspended JDS MP. MES says political clearances for his Germany travel were neither sought nor issued. Vote Jihad showdown intensifies. Prime Minister Modi slams opposition block for backing the bizarre call. Calls it Congress bid to incite Muslims. Damning revelations against News Click emerge. India Today accesses charge sheet, says News Click paid Shaheen Bagh and CAA protesters. All right, the deliberation continues within the Gandhis, whether they're going to fight the seat of Amethi or Rai Bareilly. That's the latest news break that we are getting in. Till now, the Congress doesn't have a candidate. Tomorrow is the last day for filing nominations. Both seats are up for elections in the fifth phase when Uttar Pradesh goes to vote. Uh, word comes in that uh, the Congress uh, has, uh, the party has asked the Gandhis to fight both Priyanka and Rahul Gandhi and now it's the decision of the Gandhis. I want to quickly cut across to my colleague Abhishek Mishra who's joining us not very far off from where I'm standing in Amethi speaking to his sources uh, where at least the local unit is concerned. Abhishek just a short while ago we'd seen a bit of uh, flurry in terms of activity. Uh, there seems to be at least some suggestion that possibly Rahul Gandhi might file his nominations tomorrow at least the local unit seems energized on that front. No official declaration yet. Well, absolutely, Preeti, and that is what has also become a lot of concern for the local cadre here. From morning itself, I've been tracking it. They were coming. Uh, a lot of enthusiasm we witnessed, but now with the time getting reduced for the final nomination, 20 only last hours to go for that uh, deadline. And still, the question is unanswered. Amethi who, Rai Bareilly who for the Congress party. Now, we have, I've also spoken to the locals here and I've gone outside and tried to get the sense and still the people are optimistic that the Gandhi family will finally take that seat. That is still you know, hope and anticipation there. Uh, Indeed, the BJP has already fielded the candidate from Rai also. Dinesh Patap Singh, a minister in the UP a cabinet, has got that ticket from Rai uh, We have to consider that Sonia Gandhi won in 2019 against him with 1 lakh 57,000 approximately was the uh, margin. So, and this time, uh, now BJP candidate is out. The congressman locally here believes that if it's a Gandhi family member, again, it's not going to be very tough fight. It's like a safe seat. But even after all those, you know, calculations, permutations, combinations, still the question is unanswered. Now, our sources are saying that uh, today itself it has to be announced. And, uh, but again, and we have been saying it from uh, last uh, few days that Preparations are there. Kiel Sharma spoke to us. He also left a while before and he also confirmed that we have done our preparation. It's only a matter of a few uh, you know, hours and when that list will be out, 
there will be enthusiasm. But for now, you see, and you have witnessed also within the premises of the Congress office and also the outside, the congressmen are still waiting in anticipation for that final list for Amiti and Raibarili. Yes. Well, you are right there, Abhishek, because, you know, one thing is sure, um, that the cadre here will not take any other name. Uh, they'll be deeply disappointed if it's anybody else but the Gandhi, uh, either of the Gandhis whose name is announced from the seat of uh, Amethi or even Rai Bareilly there. Uh, they've been coming every day. I just met somebody who's been wearing a fresh white kurta every day, uh, coming in and hoping that the names of the Gandhis would be announced. Uh, still waiting, uh, right behind me there. We're going to speak to some of them in a short while, but... Uh, uh, let's uh, get our viewers a bit of uh, a sense of what's going on right now in Amiti. What is it uh, that uh, the Gandhis are mulling over? Why is uh, Rahul Gandhi or Priyanka Gandhi still waiting to make that crucial decision? Big Bang Congress suspense over Gandhi siblings' fight from Amiti and Rai Bareilly. With just hours to go before nomination deadline, Congress needs to hurry. The party has left the decision on Rahul and Priyanka. I hope that today there will be a decision. CEC has given the whole power to Congress. The Congress is thinking about it, the conversation is happening, the thoughts are happening. I hope that today there will be a decision. कोई ना कोई घोषणा निकल आएगा बिल्कुल बट द डिले इज ऑलरेडी टेकिंग अ टोल ऑन मोराल ऑफ कांग्रेस वर्कर्स रूटिंग फॉर द भाई एंड बहन अमेठी के लोगों के अंदर इस बात को लेकर के लगातार चर्चा थी कि क्या राहुल गांधी चुनाव लड़ेंगे या नहीं लेकिन अब जिस तरीके से कांग्रेस कार्यकर्ताओं का उत्साह है वो लगातार जो है इस बात को कह रहे हैं कि राहुल गांधी ही आएंगे और इसको लेकर के जितने भी कार्यकर्ता हैं वो इस समय काफी एक्साइटेड है और उनको लगता है की आज ये ऐलान हो जाएगा तस्वीर साफ हो जाएगी की आखिर ये चुनाव में अमेठी से राहुल गांधी ही ताल ठोकेंगे क्या राहुल गांधी चुनाव लड़ रहे हैं हाँ राहुल गांधी यहाँ से चुनाव लड़ेंगे लग रहा है कि राहुल गांधी के पक्ष में माहौल है स्मृति रानी तो कहती हमने बहुत काम किया है यहाँ पर जो है जनता दोबारा उन्हें पांच लाख से जिता रही है राहुल गांधी के हित में पूरी जनता यहाँ की लगी हुई है और वो जीत कर यहाँ से जाएंगे भारी से भारी बहुमतों से जीतेंगे नेता आदरणीय श्रीमती सोनिया गांधी जी ने पहले भी कहा था जब वो राज्यसभा जा रही थी की रायरेली से हम अपना नाता खत्म नहीं करेंगे हमारा परिवार रायरेली से जुड़ा रहेगा इसलिए भी हम लोग पूरा आश्वस्त है और रायरेली का आम जनजन ये चाहता है कि गांधी परिवार से ही लोग यहाँ लड़ें प्रियंका जी लड़ें अगर कोई बहुत विशेष वो है तो राहुल जी लड़ें राहुल नीड्स टू डिसाइड इफ ही वांट्स अ रीमैच विद स्मृति ईरानी इन अमेठी आफ्टर हिज शॉक 2019 डिफीट अपार्ट फ्रॉम द वाई नॉट कॉन्टेस्ट इन केरला प्रियंका गांधी वाड्रा टू इज टाइट लिफ्ट देखिए अमेठी के बाद कांग्रेस का डिसीजन है जो भी मुझे ऑर्डर मिलेगा मैं वो करूंगा सीसी मीटिंग हमारे हमारी पार्टी में सीसी मीटिंग्स में ये डिसीजन लिए जाते हैं देर इज स्टिल कंफ्यूजन बिटवीन रायबरेली एंड अमेठी वट इज यू आर हेजिटेंट टू कंटेस्ट द इलेक्शन मैम यू आर हेजिटेंट टू कंटेस्ट द इलेक्शन The BJP projects complete route for the Gandhis in their bastions. भाई बहन चुनाव लड़ने से मुकर गए, उत्तर प्रदेश को टाटा बाय बाय बोलकर चले गए, और जल्दी और जल्दी उनको वायनाड भी टाटा बाय बाय बोलने वाला है, उनकी वहाँ से भी बोलती बंद करवाने वाला है. BJP's Amethi face, Smriti Irani remains confident of a big win. There is no buzz around the nation. There's buzz only in media channels. Yes, nobody is buzzing for them. If, yeah. if there were people buzzing for Rahul and Priyanka, we wouldn't be visit, winning. After months of suspense, will it be Rahul, Priyanka, or some rank newcomers in Uttar Pradesh's most high-profile fights? With Abhishek Mishra in Amethi and Samarth Shivastav in Raibareli, we are a report, India Today.
All right, will he, won't he, and uh, what's the message that is going down, especially to the cadre and the voter of the Congress party, uh, when it comes down to the state of Uttar Pradesh? Let's cut across uh, immediately right now to our guest this evening. Joining me, Shama Mohammed from the Congress, R.P. Singh from the Bharatiya Janata Party, political analyst uh, Ashutosh, political analyst Ranjat Sethi. will also be joined by Rajdeep Sardesai, our consulting editor. Shama Mohammed, you know, I'm in Amethi, uh, on ground, and... Uh, the sense that you're getting from the cadre um, is that if it's not the Gandhis, they will be devastated. There has to be, you know, a, a sense where the party has always decided is what at least the Gandhis have said repeatedly, that uh, the party, whatever the party decides, they will follow what the party says. This morning, we've had multiple senior leaders saying that uh, Rahul Gandhi should fight Amethi, Priyanka should fight Rai Bareilly, yet now it's up to the Gandhis to decide. What happens to the party or the cadre or the culture of uh, the command from the party? Hi, Preeti. You know, I'm very, very surprised that I was called for a one-hour debate and I asked them, what is it? It is on who's going to fight Amethi and Rai Bareilly. You see, we have much more important news here of Bridge Bhushan Sharan Singh's son being given a ticket from Kasar Ganj. I mean, that is ridiculous because we know who's going to be the de facto person in power, a serial rapist, a molester who sits in parliament, who was sitting in a new parliament building when our female wrestlers were protesting and they were beaten by the Delhi police. We have uh, Prajwal Revanna's case, who has is a sexual predator who molested and raped more than 400 women. And let me tell you today on live TV that I will be the first one protesting if that man enters parliament. We do not want, as a woman, you are a woman, I'm a woman. We don't want these sexual predators to be in parliament. We don't want their de facto people being in parliament. That is the story. Amethi and Rai Bareilly is an internal issue of this party. We will decide. We still have time till the third. And we'll decide. I don't understand what is so important about that that we will decide what candidate will be and you will get to know about it at the right time. And I'm, But I'm also happy... Mom, I think, you know, people. number one... Number one, it's a, okay, one second, one second. Shama Mohammed, it's a half hour debate, one. Number two, if you thought it wasn't worth your time, ma'am, maybe you should have not come. Number three, it's the biggest I, disrespect I, I did, that you I do to your that. own cadre you that has been sitting up. here for one week. Shama Sorry? Mohammed, your cadre has been sitting, ma'am, please hear me out. Your cadre has been, si hear me out. Your cadre has been sitting here for one week, hoping to get in a word whether the Gandhis will fight or not. It's abject no, I, disrespect to your cadre. Your voter in Amethi is hoping that Rahul Gandhi will fight on the ticket of Amethi. So to say that it's a non-issue and it's an internal matter of the party. No, you're fighting an election. It's not the internal matter of the party. I'll just so come back second. to you, ma'am. Allow no, me no, the no, time. Cannot, and if you're no, going no, to give the names of Kaiser Gandhi or Bangor, I can bring you the names. I can get you the names of Udhampur and other constituencies where you have painted candidates who are painted equally, ma'am. No, no, ma'am, it's not an argument between you and I. I want to bring in Rajdeep Sardesai into this conversation. Rajdeep, what's the word that you're getting in right now? Will it be Rahul Gandhi? Will it be Priyanka Gandhi? Because speculations have been on for days. You know, Preeti, uh, it's now reached the point where uh, no one really knows uh, what the left hand doesn't know what the right hand is doing and the left hand doesn't seem to know what the left hand is doing. I spoke to a senior Congress functionary and he said, if you know, please let me know. I said, when is the decision likely to come? He said, late night. I said, late night means what? He says, well, before you go to sleep at midnight. Now, the fact is, that even within the Congress, there is speculation over what exactly will happen. And that's because when you ask uh, uh, the Gandhis, they say the party will decide. When you ask a party spokesperson, they say the Gandhis will decide. And this is precisely the predicament that the party has faced. And this is not a predicament just about Amethi. It's a predicament over the last decade, whether Rahul Gandhi will take over as president of the party. You will recall between 2014 and 2017, there was huge speculation whether right. Rahul Gandhi will be a minister in the Manmohan Singh government. There was huge speculation between 2009 and 14. Will Rahul Gandhi step down as a president was a speculation after the 2019 defeat. Then will, will Rahul Gandhi come back was a speculation. Then, of course, what role will Priyanka Gandhi play over these years? This has been going on for years. 
almost like a long running family soap opera now i think the gandhis have the right to decide as anyone does in public life but once you're a member of the party the final word must surely rest with the party and hopefully the party should have come up with a cl with clarity much earlier all of what we are doing could have been sorted out if preeti a week 10 days earlier maybe even a month earlier uh, the party had uh, made clear what it was intending to do so that all those workers who are with you there in amethi would have also known whether rahul gandhi or priyanka gandhi badra contesting from there i think this uncertainty clearly reflects very poorly on the way the party functions and because of that even a big story like what shama mohammed suggested of bridbushan saran singh's son uh, getting a ticket uh, will will naturally get uh, drowned in because there will be this speculation over whether the gandhis intend to fight from their family bastion or not as media person that's a perfectly legitimate question to ask and we just haven't got any clarity on it uh, preeti now for a month every day we are told the party will decide we want them right. to contest well if you want them to contest then they should have been asked to contest ultimately the final word must be that of the party president malikarjun kharge surely you know stay with me rajdeep i just want to bring in um, ashutosh and rp singh into this conversation as well you know ashutosh it's uh, all well and good to say this is the internal matter of the gandhis that they will decide whether they want to be in public life or not the number of times we've heard rahul gandhi to say my party will decide on my next role my party will tell me uh, you've had practically uh, the party president say it that they should uh, be fighting the election you've had uh, today senior leader jairam ramesh who's gone on record to say that priyanka gandhi should fight rai bareilly rahul gandhi should fight amethi you've had the cadre who's turned up every day hoping the names will be announced you're less than 24 hours to go you can't convince your own party and your own cadre uh, that uh, you know that they need to have the stomach to get into a fight when you are not picking up the gauntlet yourself preeti i can understand the anxiety the restlessness everything which is about uh, rahul gandhi and the priyanka gandhi whether they are contesting from amethi or raibareli but it is the democratic right to choose it is it is we who are speculating and i am i'm sorry to say this yeah. but this is bjp led created propaganda to put rahul gandhi in the dock and tell the whole world that look how indecisive they are i think it is it is their democratic right let's respect that the fact of the matter is today why we should not be debating that the brajbhushan saran singh as a, as a serial offender he is getting uh, not him but his son is getting ticket on what basis what his what his son has done it so if we we can't force rahul gandhi we can't force priyanka gandhi if rahul gandhi has, has resigned after 2019 okay. and he said i will not become the party president i think he is stuck to his word and that instead of he being respected instead of his words being respected we keep uh, pointing at him but look how indecisive congress party is he did not choose to become the party president and he said it and he took the responsibility at least we should respect that here is a leader of the party from irrespective of the political parties across the spectrum who took the who took the responsibility okay. i led the party i let down the party i could not win and i'm taking the responsibility how many leaders in this country are there who after losing elections their party losing elections had taken the responsibility you know ashutosh that's well and good no 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 ashutosh i, I want to bring in okay All right, so you know, to ask, no, 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 you're, you're saying you're respond. unnecessarily speculating it. No, we are not, and I'll tell you why we are not. No, no, Ashutosh, and I'll tell you why we are not unnecessarily speculating it. It's all well and good to say that this is BJP propaganda. No, it's not. It's got the Congress cadre on the line of uh, not I... just, by the way, of uh, the constituency of Amethi and Rai Bareilly, but practically all of Uttar Pradesh who are looking at it very can keenly. I... You have an ally ask... who you are responsible to, the Samajwadi Party. One second, can sir. I... You have an ally, the Samajwadi Party, who thinks that if today the top leadership of the Congress dithers to take up the fight in Amethi, it's going to be a setback for the Gadbandan. It's really not about the Gandhis anymore. it's about the fight that so. they are projecting if I, it's going to be the last election it's you know mighty difficult to convince the voters that they won't the gandhi don't want to be a part of it pre uh, pre i think we are again taking the argument on the head the congress party is in in, in up is a 2% uh, party today in last assembly election they got only 2% so whether the, whether the, the last, last time also somebody exactly, from raibareli no no let let me let me complete let me complete so how does it matter Why we don't ask a question? Why Mr. Narendra Modi has decided to desert uh, Baroda okay. and came to came to Varanasi? 
has anybody asked that question that why did you leave, leave gujarat are you not affectionate to the gujarat so my my point is very simple it's a democratic right of a political party of a political leader he wants to contest he doesn't want to contest do you think okay. if rahul gandhi to get sure right it's a democratic contest? right of the political party it is the Five Fair enough. Five I want to bring in R P C into this conversation. Fair uh, point. Pretty five seconds. Please five make, seconds. make your point, sir. Pretty five seconds. I'm only saying is that tomorrow, if, 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 if late night we get to know that Rahul Gandhi is contesting for Amity and Priyanka Gandhi is contesting for Amrita Bhavali, is it going to qualitatively change the election in UP? No, it will. It, it will not. It will not. At the max, they can get two two extra seats from Amity and Amrita Bhavali. That's all. Sir, that's what it's you think. The Kada doesn't think that. The Kada would think they don't want to get out tomorrow and hold the yes, agenda of the Congress Kada. Party if their leaders. Yes. deciding not to take that plunge yes, having said that rp singh i want to i want to bring you into this conversation optics wise if rahul gandhi or priyanka gandhi take up the fight from rai bareilly and amethi uh, it's uh, going to not at least optics wise it's a fight where it comes down to the bjp well priti first uh, i Kindness. must correct ashutosh it's not 2% as 0.5% party in the uh, in the up because they just won probably two seats last time in the assembly constituency assembly election so that point is right i mean it doesn't matter with rahul gandhi prenka wadra mr robert wadra who is claiming that he want to contest uh, amethi he has put there have been some posts that holding been put asking him to contest so it doesn't matter to us because we are all set and all prepared anyone who contests from amethi is bound to lose elections and he he will have a very bad time i mean because uh, uh, smriti rani is well settled in in amethi and then he is winning elections at all at all at all cost Uh, but coming to the issue how does it matter i mean yes it's a matter of curiosity for the anyone who is into uh, into the political uh, uh, arena or political sphere that yes who is going to contest amethi who is going to contest rivalry because these are two family bastions which congress had uh, and then uh, the congress uh, never lost this election except one uh, last time when uh, rahul gandhi lost the election so this is a family bastion whenever they have contested they won elections so uh, general curiosity is there and then because mrs sonia gandhi has already said uh, tata baba to rai bareilly and said that she doesn't want to contest and she has uh, seek this uh, safe seat from rajya sabha uh, in from rajasthan so let's wait i mean we we will wait for uh, whatever uh, announcement they make but be very sure amethi and rai bareilly i said with you on 4 june they are losing both the seats okay okay you know i want to go back because there was a point that shama mohammed also wanted to make right in the beginning of this uh, debate shama mohammed you bring the uh, issue and it's a plausible story kaiser ganj to give bridge bhushan sharan sun a ticket same uh, finger can be pointed on the congress uh, shama mohammed yeah, your candidate from uddhapur lal singh when it comes down to kathua your nanda richa no let me let me speak on that now when i am trying to reply to you and telling give me a second you don't you just because i questioned you on the discussion today you spoke to me and said that you have no idea what about the kader i come from a state called kerala where we give so much of respect to our kaders that when we are voting even outside a school we have a booth committee sitting four or five of them Uh, checking whether all of them have gone in or not gone in that is the system we have we have a proper mandal president we have a booth president booth committee mandal committee block president so please don't dare me and tell me these things that i have no idea what the kader is the kader is sitting of course we have huge respect for the kader but like ashutosh was saying that we will the party is going to take a decision what about the kaders in gujarat of the bhartiya janata party what has happened to them what are they going through do you know that they are just told this will be your candidate nobody questions it because there is a media hype against the congress party that is the issue we are saying we you, will decide you run the, you want okay. you want to run the let's media you want to run the let bjp me, also now let me finish let me finish can and we go one by one sir can we just go one by one let her the finish vishnu sharan saying the police has filed an fir they, i have no idea why they have not arrested yeah. If there is an issue with the udhampur candidate let them file an fir there is an fir against vishnu sharan saying we know that he has to be arrested he is a serial molester see the painful thing i am a woman i am a mother i am a sister i cannot handle when a prajwal revanna is raping a man who has served his please. mother who has served his parents and him and the prime minister one second okay i'm going to you know let's not just go post here one second let us well, need an fir shama mohammed okay one please second please calm down please calm down does it need can i one second 
One second, I need to go into a break, ma'am. I've given you time. Does it no, mean you have an not given FIR me time. You for you me as a woman to feel affronted? Ma'am, you have. You've got... Are you look at the time you've been you've got. I'll send you back this news clip. If it don't you feel affronted? Does it need to take an FIR for anyone to feel affronted? You have a candidate, uh, Lal Singh from Udhampur, who you are saying file an FIR against him. You and I both know better. We've sat on debates on Katua where we've spoken on Lal Singh, but today he doesn't matter because he's a candidate from the Congress. And exactly the same thing for R P Singh, Kesar Ganj. You have a bridge Bhushan Sharan whose son is today going to contest on his ticket. Works, no? You have right, a you know, I'm going to come back because it's not about bridge Bhushan Sharan. Now? This debate. Hold on, come on, mom. You've had the Congress who's trying to say that the uh, media making, uh, you know, too big a deal of nothing. It's BJP propaganda. But ultimately, what's the messaging that is being sent where the Congress voter in a state like Uttar Pradesh is concerned. I want to quickly cut across and get in Ranjit Sethi uh, as well as Ghansham Tiwari from the Samajwadi Party into this conversation. Apologies, we haven't come to you so far. Ghansham Tiwari from someone who represents the Samajwadi Party who is in alliance with the Congress in Uttar Pradesh. If the Gandhi choose not to contest, um, is this a setback for the Gat Bandhan? Or like what Ashutosh says, it's a 2% uh, share party. Even in 2019, it will not make any much difference. Pretty good evening to you, uh, my fellow co-panelists and the viewers. I find this as a as an exciting situation. I don't share the the response that Congress is is giving on this. I think it is exciting that people of Amethi are waiting, people of Raiburi are waiting uh, with joy to look at Rahul Gandhi ji and Priyanka Gandhi ji as a candidate. With this kind of build up, with this kind of media speculation, every uh, voter in Amethi knows that there is going to be a, a massive campaign that is going to be built up. There's going to be a, a massive news story that will be created once the nominations are filed. In contrast, there is nothing that Smithy Raniji can take in Amethi. She is fighting against a backdrop when Bridge Bhushan Sharan Singh is also writing on his Twitter, Modi ka parivar. And Mr. Modi is responding by ensuring that Bridge Bhushan Sharan Singh, who put every father of a daughter in the country to shame, has been given ticket. Modi has, has stood by Bridge Bhushan Sharan Singh as Modi ka parivar. Mr. Modi has also st stood by Prajwal Revanna by asking for votes, by saying to people that vote for, for uh, demons like this and it, you will strengthen me. So when uh, people of Amethi vote, they know that this is what Modi ka parivar looks like. There's Braj Bhushan Sharan Singh, there is Prajwal okay. Revanna, and in the face of it, you will have a candidate from Congress that people are anticipating. I think the the story is not that, that Congress party is, is making everybody wait. The story is that okay. there is exciting building, uh, excitement building up in the nomination okay. of Congress party. Nice spin. Gajan Tiwari, nice spin. I want to ask you, will the Samajwadi party be disappointed if the Gandhis uh, don't fight? I think that there is no political logic for Gandhis to not fight. The, uh, the real story that is unfolding here is building the anticipation, okay. building the, the excitement among the voters. There is absolutely no political logic for okay. Gandhis to All not right, fight. All right, so that's the real and, story. And JP will face, face the, the... For your party's sake. Posture. Right. For, for, the, for your party, say, Gansham Tiwari, that's the story. Ranjit Sethi, to bring you in, you know, to flip the question that I was asking, Shama, if the Gandhis do decide to fight, it's not just optics. Uh, you know, because I have been traveling now through the length and breadth of Uttar Pradesh. If you are looking at the Congress cadre, the one who's going to, you know, carry the flag of the Congress right in front of their leaders, they're all waiting. And for them, an uh, announcement like this could change at least the rigor where the Congress is concerned. I think uh, uh, what the previous panelists were saying that it doesn't necessarily matter. It's not a political logic uh, whether Rahul Gandhi contests or not contest. But I personally feel that had it been such an easy decision, Rahul Gandhi would have jumped on uh, the uh, you know into the fray and contested. It wouldn't have been this much of deliberations. The reason there, the political reason that I'm sensing is that if at all, uh, you know, Rahul Gandhi goes out and loses the second time his prime ministerial ambitions come to a hard stop because, you know, then the Akhilesh Yadav and the Tejasvi Yadavs and uh, Mamta Banerjee, all of them would be breathing fire down Rahul Gandhi's neck. It won't be an easy affair when you lose two consecutive uh, elections in the heartland, uh, especially from your bastion, thereafter emerging as, as a challenger. So I think what, what Rahul Gandhi might be thinking right now is that 
would it uh, should i fall into the trap uh, you know of this clarion call that is being built around in the media to for me to come in or should i just uh, you know sit sit back and uh, and weigh uh, what could be the downsides if i lose consecutively from amiti i think that's what is stopping and i don't know where priyanka gandhi's logic comes in because she herself has said that i'm not in the race after the pan india Uh, pan india campaign so uh, i uh, okay. please allow me to finish my thoughts i have been waiting for the past 40 minutes uh, yeah, now when it comes to kesar ganj uh, you know indian jurisprudence is quite clear i'm pretty shocked that very learned panelists sitting here are passing the crimes or the or the uh, purported crimes of the father on to the son if that is the logic if son is also equally uh, sort of uh, held liable for the crimes of the father then by that logic Like, uh, why is uh, uh, you know Tejasvi okay. Yadav, son of Lalu Yadav, who is a convict, by the way? Here, this guy is not a convict. Why would a convict son not be considered okay. as a convict? I'm, so I'm coming project, to let him finish, ma'am. You know, this is the most weird logic right. that I have come. But by that, okay. And here, okay. Then Lal Singh, as you Sethi, said, nobody will pin point. But by that logic, but that Lal Singh, right? But uh, but okay. But but by that logic, Rajat Sethi, that means then somewhere down the B line, the BJP is falling into the dynastic politics trap. Because what is it that uh, you know, Karan Sharan, uh, the son yeah, of Bridge yeah. Bhushan Sharan, brings see, to the table other than his father's legacy and his name? But so there are wanna, two different goalposts. Okay. If you hit them on the dynasty, I'm not. I'm, I'm with not. You. If that is not, I am no, with no, you I'm on not. the dynasty. BJP is an equal dynasty. I'm not, I'm not changing the goalposts. Congress is a bigger okay. dynasty because they are bending okay. over backwards to have Rahul Gandhi in the fray. Okay, so so Preeti, he okay, said so, a fine. Okay, uh, I want to bring in Shama Muhammad back into this conversation. Ma yeah. Okay, go ahead. Make your point. Make your point, Shama. So you wanted to ask me something? Please ask, and I'll then make the point. You want to ask me something, or shall I just make point? What I want to say is, he says a convict. No, the, son. You wanted to come in for a rebuttal. The question that. Yeah. The so question, he said. Yeah, make, Go ahead. He said go a ahead. convict son. Now I want to know. They just we work. He's come up. Every but then that is when he later on got to fight. Now this person, nobody has heard of him. He suddenly comes out of the air just because he's Bridge Bhushan Sharan Singh. So here there is dynastic politics, and every time Mr. Narendra Modi is shouting against dynastic politics. Number two, I want to ask you, Preeti, and the rest of them, is that Mr. Modi morning to night is talking lies of our manifesto. Nobody questions it. When Bridge Bhushan Sharan Singh was happening. nobody question him he doesn't answer he doesn't answer to manipur he doesn't answer to prajwal revanna i want to know what does this man what does he stand for he always says beti bachao beti padhao then he is okay. the one who should say i condemn what prajwal revanna has done i i did not okay. know it i But condemn Shama mohammed it's not okay he should have asked him yeah. to resign he never asked him to resign as a member of parliament neither from the a uh, wrestling federation president all right madam the, the debate today is not bridge bhushan sharan singh the debate today is not nal singh the congress candidate from udhampur the debate today whether you want to be a part of it or not is about whether rahul gandhi and priyanka gandhi should fight this election and that's i want to bring in ashutosh back into this conversation uh, for a brief while ashutosh you say that this is the internal matters of the matter of the gandhi and they need to resolve it both the gandhis that we are talking about here be it priyanka gandhi or rahul gandhi have repeatedly said that we will abide what our party says which one is it then because then it seems that the center lies with the gandhis because every top leader of the party is only telling us that the gandhis decision we want them to fight but it's up to the gandhis You're on mute, sir. Priya, Priya, I think I don't understand this logic for the simple reason because everybody knows that Rahul Gandhi and the Gandhis are the preeminent leader in the party itself. The party revolves around them. But let let's be fair to them. When 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 the when the when the BJP was was hitting at them, ki ye to kuch karenge nahi, chodenge nahi. When he when he has decided when he decided to when he decided not to become the party president, even then he was duped, damned. when he decided to become the party president he was damned ah. the issue is issue is since 19 1991 the gandhis has refused to become the the, the prime minister oh my god i am a noble family a christian and no, 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 come on please that's not fair that's not talk. Talk. i didn't disturb you don't talk. i didn't disturb you ranjan i didn't can disturb you can we go one by one please can i just get ashutosh and i'll cut across to rp singh after that you you know and i know that when rajiv gandhi died 
it the entire congress party had gone to the sonia gandhi and asked a request to take the take the mantle she did not take the mantle let's be fair to them in 1990 in 1998 the congress was really disintegrating then the sonia gandhi took the responsibility in 2004 sonia gandhi again could have become the become the prime minister she refused in within in the second term of the manmohan singh again there was a pressure that rahul gandhi should become the, the prime minister he did not take and in this election the rahul gandhi has categorically said the prime minister ship is not over here the issue is how many times you you want to beat rahul gandhi and nehru gandhi family here is here is the prime minister lal krishna advani has written a letter and says for one man's ambition the party is going out who was that man that man was lal krishna advani who was that man narendra modi why we don't discuss that but what's the point of not like why are we taking a high moral ground here when the problem is congress is a politician or you're not a politician ashish 120 120 years i am i am as a political analyst i have a right to view I'm can i just i'll that, come back to you sir i am i am only saying it, let's be fair to them no you have yes, a right you have a you have a this is a bjp induced induced debate okay one second yeah, okay i'm I'm sorry I'm Okay I'm I want to get in final comments I want to get in final comments RP Singh RP Singh I want to pull you back into this conversation if we still have RP Singh RP Singh if you're still with us the fact is in all probability at least you know what seems like is that one of the Gandhis is contesting and if one of the Gandhis does contest be it Amethi or Rai Bareilly it does change the dynamics in a somewhat fashion do you agree or disagree well i as i told earlier in your debate whoever contest uh, both rabbit and amethi they are bound to lose and i am prepared to take this as a challenge and on 4th of june i'll sit with you and then this will be proven that they have lost i mean gandhi has lost his best but coming to what uh, ashutosh spewed right now I mean, he said mrs gandhi didn't uh, accepted the party presidency after jatsa rajiv gandhi do you know the reason we all know the reason she was so scared to do uh, be in politics because after the death of the husband we all know that and after that you said she didn't accept the prime ministership we all know why didn't she accept the prime ministership because there was a foreign uh, uh, country or for, uh, foreign nation issues at that time and uh, there could have been a problem at that time also so don't right. and, and you also said to, uh, about rahul gandhi uh, could have become the prime minister uh, then why didn't it why didn't he jump why didn't he came forward and uh, took the leap and why didn't they made uh, mr manmohan singh quit and then made rahul gandhi the prime minister so this is part of the history as uh, as narrated by you but facts are uh, different than what you are narrating all right okay you know but ashutosh with what you said and i just want to bring in rajat sethi as well uh, you say the gandhis are the power center you can't be the power center with zero accountability you can't always be the reluctant politician and if it if you need to build the bones of your party back from uttar pradesh you need to fight from uttar pradesh that's as simple as that but you know i'm going to bring in rajat sethi and shama mohammed back uh, rajat sir you know, i'll come back is, to you allow me rajat sethi closing you know, comments go ahead you know this is the problem the whole congress party i mean why is congress important because for god's sake that is the only opposition party that we have we don't have an a plethora of options so we have to be worried as voters what is the whole party doing they literally crawling before the gandhis are they the president are they president of the party who are they they are a simple workers of the party who have who have been contesting in one seat and a ticket whether to be given or not to be given should be a decision should the congress party should take instead of like uh, creating a picture as if they are bending over backwards just to please the family for god's sake the party has a 130 year old okay. legacy stay true to that legacy stay true to it and not start fawning before one family you will be doomed politically if you continue to okay. do that because you in the process take voters for granted this is the problem 40 lakh voters have been waiting to see a giant right. contest shama mohammed final words Matt, we are not giving ahead. you a contest Rajat because of one family shama mohammed final words and i just want to show okay i want to i want to well i just want to for our benefit of our viewers well this is what's going on without without the name being announced shama mohammed you know i don't know because if you look at all the flexes all the the publicity material it's got rahul gandhi up there if he's not going to contest now you tell me as the cadre of the party won't you be disappointed no no nobody said rahul gandhi will not contest if he contests mark my words he will defeat smriti irani because what i have known and i've gathered is she has done no work only just does bug bug that's about it she has not done any work so we will we are not scared nobody is scared over here 
and let me make one thing very clear nobody is right. crawling we have seen we have seen what modi does to people in the bhartiya janata party they don't crawl they just lie on the floor when he is walking you know that's what's happened where is democracy in that party it is just modi and shah they pick, they okay. change chief ministers without asking their mlas we don't do that okay. we do it in a democratic manner right. they, All right. Okay, Sama. I'm. If you allow me, I'm just going to. All right. Okay. I'm going to. I want to ask. So, I just want to ask my camera person to zoom in on. Uh, I just want to ask my camera person to zoom in on all the publicity material. There's just one uh, massive poster that's come in of Akhilesh and Rahul Gandhi. Is there something that uh, they know that we don't know yet? So we're going to leave it at that. Ashutosh, one quick comment from you uh, coming in. Uh, you know as a political analyst ashutosh you tell us do you think the gandhi should contest or not 10 seconds priti gandhi gandhi should contest i said on your on your channel many times but let let give me 5 seconds okay. you know after in 2009 when the bjp lost badly lalkis adwani was forced to resign when in 2019 rahul gandhi resigned on his own that's a difference okay. so this this bjp induced propaganda has to stop right all right okay i'm going to let it be at that you know i'm going to let it be appreciate all of you for joining us uh we are at the amethi headquarters you know this could be the enthusiasm of the cadre here but then you really can't blame them because they've been coming here every day waiting for an announcement fifth phase is when amethi goes to polls viewers fifth phase uh last day of nomination ends tomorrow at this time people have already started raising slogans without a name